We're in the 67 kilogram welterweight division and here comes Seiwon Okazawa of Japan to take up residence in the red corner. His opponent is Vakid Abasov of Serbia. What innovation he is receiving as he enters the Stark Arena to contest this quarter-final. So Frank Fiaco of Canada with the final instructions before sending the men back to their respective corners. As this 67 kilogram welterweight quarterfinal is underway between boxers from Japan and Serbia and the man wearing red in this battle of all, in this all Southpaw encounter is Japan's Seiwon Okazawa. Immediately out in characteristic fashion, poking out single jabs to the body of his opponent. The Southpaw wearing blue is Vakid Abasov, 24 years of age, part of Serbia's 12-man boxing team. And this is a contest between boxers who possess terrific speed. They use it in different ways. Okazawa put on the back foot there and picked off by the Southpaw left of Abasov. But the way Okazawa likes to use his speed is to go from beyond punching distance into punching distance like that, score with a right jab and then escape, pile up the points by scoring without reply. As for Abasov, he's capable of circumnavigating the boxing ring with wonderful speed and flu fluidity and drawing opponents onto him to pick them off, where his movement allows him to score without reply. So two boxers who often aren't touched. There you see Okazawa score with a right jab. That's his modus operandi. Goes downstairs to the body once again. And Okazawa is a boxer who celebrates every success that he enjoys in exuberant fashion. And by doing that, he kills the clock. Some more time elapses. And because of his speed, the threat of the shot that he may land is always imminent, no matter how far away he is from the man coming out of the other corner. So he's a very clever boxer, is Seiwon Okazawa. Spends a lot of time being active, but not doing very much. And then he bursts into action like that. Now it's beyond punching distance. Right jab, left cross, celebrated once again by Okazawa. But Abasov felt that he had success as well. Abasov looking to close the gap with his speed, but look at the composure. That Okazawa demonstrates under fire, picked off by a lead right hand there by Abasov. And he has that characteristic idiosyncratic habit of grinning that gum shield. Almost contemptuous in the direction of his opponent. But Abasov has got to disregard all of that and remain focused on the task at hand. Possibly on the torso of the man in front of him because the head is very difficult to catch cleanly but in single shot exchanges like this well it's going to be difficult to best Okazawa at this particularly when Abasov is coming forwards and he's normally the man that likes to draw opponents onto his blistering combinations so much strategy and look at Abasov saying well I'm going to do what you're going to do just before the bell he disengaged and if both boxers did that We'd have no contest. It would just be two men in the roped arena of the boxing ring. First round in the book, I think Okazawa has taken it. And I think he has that impression too. Ayuba Live scoring in effect, of course. He's taken it on a 4-1 split. The judge from Thailand preferring the work 
of the Serbian boxer. Well, it's the type of performance we've come to expect from Sewan Okazawa. And again, in just in the format of three-round Aiba boxing, taking the first round is crucial because with only two rounds to work in after that point, it determines the tactics as to how those rounds are going to be contested. And now, having lost the first round, Abbasov isn't going to be able to employ his preferred method of boxing on the back foot and drawing opponents onto him. He's going to have to go in search of Sewan Okazawa. Can he close the gap against this speedster from Japan? Trying to pin him towards the corner now. Okazawa remaining concentrated and just keeping that right jab out there often enough to ensure that Abbasov doesn't, doesn't come in with impunity. Cries of Serbia, Serbia trying to rally the man who was actually born in Russia in the Samara region. Abbasov represented Russia until 2019. Second place in the Russian National Championships. He's the reigning two-time national champion of Serbia. Received a bye in the first preliminary round here. The Sanal Shahi of Nepal on a unanimous points verdict. And then showcased terrific speed. Again, Jacques Shilik Talai Bekov of Kyrgyzstan to progress through to the quarterfinals. As for Sewan Okazawa, it is his fourth bout as he takes a stiff right jab from Abbasov. It's his fourth bout of the tournament. Having boxed in the round of 64, and this is the type of performance he has produced throughout a 3-2 split over Miguel Farin of Ecuador in the round of 64 followed by a controlling performance against Dimitri Galagot of Moldova the multiple national champion of the European nation and four-time participant in the world championships off the mark with that southpaw left wrestled down to the canvas by Abbasov and then it was a unanimous point decision victory and a point deduction excuse me a stern talking to in the direction of Abbasov but he does an outstanding job of controlling the tempo does Okazawa good right jab to the body from Abbasov but it was countered immediately by Okazawa and again as the clock continues to tick that is only going to benefit the man in red I'm not quite sure what transpired there. Couldn't hear in this cacophony of an atmosphere whether Frank Fiaco, the referee, did issue the command of break, but both men certainly stopped, so one can only assume that he did. It's untidy on the inside. And again, Okazawa so expressive with his motions. Often makes it appear that more is taking place than it actually is. With the exuberant celebrations and the whoops and hollers that he elicits in the boxing ring elicits from his opponent and then he celebrates them in such demonstrable fashion two rounds in the book and that's have to go into that's going to have to be scored in Okazawa's favor once again and there's confirmation a 4-1 split so three cards of 20 points to 18, two cards of 20 points to 19, and that is crucial because even though there was a different distribution, the fact that it's a 4-1 split once again means that Okazawa has got his nose in front, 20 points to 18 for three of the five scoring judges, which means that Vakid Abbasov requires a massive third and final round if he hopes to progress through to the medal stages here at his home world championships. So into the third and final round then, and Sewan Okazawa fresh off his appearance at a home Olympic Games in Tokyo. He's just three minutes away from progressing through to the semi-finals of the 60 kilogram lightweight tournament. 
Made it through to the quarterfinals in Yekaterinburg two years ago where he was edged on a 3-2 split decision by the eventual silver medalist Pat McCormack. More of Great Britain. Now he has the opportunity to go one better as he scores with a good right jab. Using that lead right hand and Nabasov simply cannot close the range with enough consistency and then score with enough effective punches once he's in there. The referee is yet to issue the command of break. And prior to him doing so, neither man was really working away, particularly Abbasov with the intensity that's required. Here he comes forward with a ball rush. But Okazawa, using the space of the ring well, slowly gets back to his feet. The clock continues to tick. Wipes the glove clean. Wipes the gloves clean and so... Again, the clock is the friend of Okazawa at the moment. And all of this inaction beyond punching territory will only benefit the man in red. Well, there is plenty of activity, but not much in terms of scoring action in this final round. And that is what Abbasov needs to find because, again, Okazawa doing a good job of looking as though he's trying to work on the inside, but the right hand remaining around the rear of his opponent to prevent him from working. Now there's an exchange. It's rather untidy. Okazawa celebrating as he makes his way back to center ring, hanging out his chin, daring Abbasov to clip it. But he's managing the clock and the lead that he has very effectively indeed, continuing to goad, almost taunt his opponent into trying to make him do something that he doesn't want to. But that's one of his skills. He's able to set out his store early, do what he wants to do. And in doing so, he takes the opponent out of what they want to do. Really effective boxer, you say, one Okazawa blessed with tremendous gifts, and he utilizes them well. High ring IQ, blistering speed, particularly a foot, enables him to close the distance and score with a right jab to the torso or upstairs just like that without reply. And because there is so little in terms of punching, he's not a volume puncher, that the shots that he lands, if he hits you four times in a round and you don't hit him, it's very difficult to beat him. And it wasn't that extreme here today. He hit Abbasov more than four times, but Abbasov not able to catch the man cleanly. Disappointment etched on the face of the Serbian boxer because he knows he just wasn't able to get it done tonight. And it will be Sewan Okazawa who goes through to the semi-finals in the welterweight division. And there is confirmation. Sewan Okazawa absolutely delighted. He goes one further than he did in his maiden world championship appearance in Ye Yekaterinburg two years ago. A 4-1 split decision winner over Serbia's Vakid Abasov. Taking all three of the rounds for three of the scoring judges. And Sewan Okazawa will stand on the medal rostrum. Now the only question remains is what color will the medal be? And how fat will his bank balance be? Because he's guaranteed himself at least 25,000 US dollars by making it through to the final four. But the Tokyo Olympian will have designs on going further after another very clever display. Vakid Abasov, the Serbian boxer, not able to progress through to the medal stages, but a very good tournament for him indeed. But he's eliminated, and it's Okazawa who rolls on.